Hey guys, well, looks like I'm finally going to be getting out of here. Uh, Got to go pick up some carpet and head to Kansas. So, just got to wait around till about 1 o'clock in the morning before we can leave. So, I just ate lunch. Probably going to hang out, eat some supper, and then... Uh, come back to the truck get a little rest and I think my trainer is going to drive down uh, it's only about 15-20 minutes away where we pick up and it's uh, not a live load it's just a hook to a trailer and go so he's going to drive for a little bit it's only going to take us about 12 hours to get to Kansas so he said we'd probably end up doing a split so I can get some drive time, but he wanted to drive first. So that way uh, I can get more sleep in. And, you know, I, I, which I'm fine driving at night. Uh, you know, I, I, that's why I'm going to be a trucker. I, I enjoy driving and. I don't tire easily when I'm behind the wheel, but you know he doesn't know that. So if I was a trainer, I would probably do the same thing. I've heard a lot of trainers say that you know they they won't drive at night; that they make their students drive uh, at night. So uh, it's good to hear that he's not like that. Like I said, I don't mind, but. As one of the master trainers told me earlier this week, you don't really know if you've got a good trainer right off the bat, but you always know if you've got a bad one because the bad ones will always make you drive at night. And they'll tell you that straight up front uh, while they're shaking your hand when you first meet them. Uh, hey, my name's so-and-so, and I hope you're good at night because you're going to be doing all the night driving. So that's just lazy. That's just using you for miles. And if you get somebody like that, make sure that you talk to whoever you have to talk to to try to get on somebody else's truck because chances are you're not going to get trained properly. It's going to extend your training hours doesn't matter what company with you, that you're with it will extend your training hours uh, or you just will get your hours in they'll bring you back to a terminal they'll test you and you won't pass so then they'll stick you out for more hours or they'll decide to let you go because you are in probation and it's your job to be able to pass that test after a certain amount of hours so they figure if you can't and the trainer signed off on everything that that uh, he has or has not taught you it doesn't matter because he's saying that he taught you and most companies are going to believe the trainer not you because you have to sign that paperwork too so if anything's going on that you're uncomfortable with speak up uh, don't be afraid to speak up it's your life it's your career you know the trainers there to help you that's what they get paid the extra money for and if they're not doing their job then somebody needs to know about it. Uh, so, but anyway, I am excited. I've talked to my trainer quite a bit now, and we get along uh, really well. At least I feel that we do. And uh, I think he's going to teach me the ropes pretty well. The hazing has started. <laughs> the, you know, you do have to have thick skin. Because he's already hazed me about a few things, which, you know, it's fine. That's part of it. You know, I wouldn't expect to be handed this without a little hazing. So I can take a joke. <coughs> but anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Again, uh, please subscribe. Uh, please share. Please like the videos. Uh, and leave any comments or questions you have down below. I'll answer just about anything. 
See you in the next one.